happy Monday. Here we are. The weekend is over. The work week, unfortunately, has began. But that's okay, because we are talking Indian this week. And that requires a whole conversation. But you don't want to go anywhere, because we're talking about Akarya? Maybe that's how it's said. I, I, don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this. We'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey, Squeaky. I, uh, the weather's been changing a lot here lately, and I think we need to check in with our local weather expert and see what the weather's doing. Don't know. Might snow. Back to you, nerd. Happy, happy Monday. I know, I know, right? Like, who's excited about Monday? Uh, generally, most people, not at all. But I am, because I just watched an awesome movie. <laughs> How y'all doing? Like and subscribe if you haven't already. In the description down below are links. If they're not there, the nerdyronin.com is the place to be. Oh, I got a face itch. All right. All right. Hey, first things first. I just wanted to show you some cool things that my sister-in-law brought me from England. Now, you may or may not know this, but I'm a huge Sherlock Holmes fan. I've read all the books, the stories, watched all the shows. Oh, love it. And they went to 221B Baker Street, the museum, when they were over there. And so real quick, I just wanted to show you this coolness right here. Check this out. Oh, man. Come on, wake up. There you go. There you go. Anyway, it says 221B Baker Street, London. Sorry, glare. Anyway. It, 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 watch box. I just, I, that's so cool. Unfortunately, I'm a fat guy, and it won't fit around my wrist all the way, so I'm going to have to get a new band. But also this really cool coin fantastic so nice and a re really cool British pill container I know right but I do take medicine so there's that <clears throat> okay 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 it's, it's time y'all it's time first off thanks sis and other sis appreciate the thought all right so, we need to discuss Indian cinema real quick. There's two different types. For the main, like, mainly, there's two different types. There's Bollywood, which is, in general, they're Hollywood. Bollywood is the norm. Love stories, rom-coms, just dance numbers. Yes, if you've never watched Indian cinema before, there are dance numbers in them somewhere. It, it can be an action movie, and still, in the middle of it, there's going to be a musical number. And it, it, it generally fits in the story, it fits in what's going on, etc. And then, along comes Tollywood, which is not well received by the mainstream movie industry over there, which is Bollywood. And because of that, it's like a gang fight between two different industries that are two different languages in India, from what I can understand. Uh, for instance, a Tollywood movie would be RRR. If you haven't seen that, you need to watch it. It's amazing. It's really long. Indian movies are also around two to three hours long. In general, with them being that long, a lot of times there's an intermission, but they the stories are complex, the action scenes are insane, and just right on the cusp of being way over the top. But they're fantastic. They're amazing, some of the stuff they do over there. And the movie we're going to talk about today is a Tollywood movie. And I bring this up because there's a lot of hate from mainstream media and mainstream outlets and mainstream, mainstream film against Tollywood and I think that's why this movie has such a low rating. Because I was looking at the reviews for it. 
and there's a lot of one-star reviews, and they're misspelled. They look like five-year-olds wrote them, and they're silly. Because I don't know what they were watching, but I just watched this two-and-a-half-hour movie, and it was fantastic. It was amazing. We'll just look at it. Let's look. Here we go. Akaria? I, look, I do not know how to say that. I am not Indian. I don't... I'm from Arkansas. So, eh. But that's the best I can figure. Akaria. 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 2022. Not rated. 2 hours and 32 minutes. And that's another thing I found extremely interesting about Indian movies. Is very rarely do they get a physical media release. They're, they're shown, and then they're gone. Now, with streaming, that has changed some. There are Indian streaming services. And this movie, in particular, is an Amazon Studios film. So, it's if you have Prime, it's free to watch on Amazon. And I guess they partnered with Amazon to do this movie. And the movie we're watching on Wednesday is an Amazon original as well. Which is fine with me when it's done great. But anyway, I'm not even going to read this synopsis because it's... No, I, w I will read it. Touted to be a socio-political actioneer, the plot revolves around a middle-aged person, I don't know what that is, Naxalite to run a turn social reformer who launches a fight against the endowment department over misappropriation of temple funds and donations. That is not what this movie is about at all. There's it's no, oh. it stars Chiranjeeva, Ram Charan, Pooja Hedge. I, I'm sorry, it's written and directed by Koratala Siva. All right, anyway, back to me, y'all. All right, look, listen, this movie is about. This city in the in a forest where a temple is, it, so it has to do with their religious beliefs. And the bad guys want to tear that all out. And they want to mind for whatever is there. Alright? <clears throat> Destroying the land. And a guy shows up in town. He sees all these bad deeds going down. And he starts correcting the bad things in a very violent fashion. <laughs> now, so the first half of the movie, you're watching it, you do not know what, what's going on necessarily as far as the past, this guy's past, who he is, what's going on, etc. And in the middle of it, they do a time jump and pull back and show you how we got to this point. Really well done. Did not confuse me at all. Like, it wasn't confusing. It, it, it made valid points. It showed exactly what it needed to show. Involving another character to get you where you're at in the movie. And why this character that you've been watching for half the movie is doing what he's doing and who he is. And it goes on from there. It, it's, a, it's a movie about good over just pure evil. It is extremely bloody and gory. It's not safe for children. Not that there's anything like, you know, it's it's comic book action. Sort of. It's very straightforward to the point, but it's fantastical because it's right over the line of being realistic. But great to watch. I'm talking entertaining as all get out did uh, and i find this true with most indian movies that are action movies the action pushes right to the edge and then falls over it just enough to get entertaining and that's it no further you could look you could this is kind of like a superhero movie uh, from hollywood the action is big, it's huge, the storyline is complex and long, and in the end, you have a great finish to a movie. The cinematography is great. The action and stunts is great. Uh, there's wire work, 
the special effects are great. Nothing about this movie is bad. Now, for American audiences, the length is going to be a bit of an issue. Yes. So, midway point, you might want to pee right before you watch the movie. Pause it in the middle. Pee, get a sandwich, refill your popcorn, what have you. And continue on. Because you will want to continue on. At no point in this movie is it boring. Are you like, oh man, I wish it would hurry up. Could they have taken 30 minutes out of this movie? Yes, but that is not up for debate as far as they're concerned. This is how they do movies. Two and a half hours is the norm. I looked up four different Indian movies, to all Tollywood, and they were all two and a half hours long with a minute or two difference. This is just the way it is. But, but... Unlike Hollywood movies, there's not a bunch of fluff. It's not a bunch of ridiculousness. It's not a bunch of unnecessary messaging. These these movies are straight masculine, like, aggressive action movies where the women are women and the men are men and they don't apologize about it at all. There's people fall in love, people fight, people die. It just, that's... It's refreshing. And I can't recommend this movie enough. Yes, you'll have to read subtitles. It is not in English. And it's well worth the effort. Bushido Blues. You need to see this. You Trust me. Trust me. Just for your own enjoyment. You do not want to miss this movie. I had never heard of it before. And I was so happy I watched it. Oh, yes. You could even go so far as to call this in theory, a Kung Fu Monday. Because the the action in this, it's, it's right close to martial arts goodness. So there you go. There you go. This, so exciting. Happy Monday. This was great Monday. Great movie. If this one went so well, I can't wait to see Wednesdays. And we will be dining on the Indian Buffet again on Wednesday. Tollywood, here we come. We're coming back for seconds. So please, watch this movie. This movie has gotten so much hate. It's got a 3 out of 10 on the Internet Movie Database. And with the synopsis, the way the synopsis is written, obviously, somebody in the Internet Movie Database is a Bollywood fan. And doesn't like Tollywood. That's my opinion. I believe that's why the score is so low. Because it does not deserve. It, just, it needs to be a 7. At the very least. This movie's great. You will enjoy it. If you like action movies. If you like good complex stories. With just a great journey. Or hero's journey if you will. This is the movie for you. So there, there you go. This is a longer video. But this needs to be watched. This needs to be seen by as many people as you can. If you have Amazon, watch this ad free on Amazon. <clears throat> there you go. I got I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm hungry. I gotta eat lunch. <laughs> Alright you guys. I love you guys. New subscribers, old subscribers, I love you all. Come back on Wednesday. We're gonna talk about another fantastic movie, I'm sure of it. So I'm out of here. Uh, from Michael the microphone. Bob, squeaky chair in the back and this fat Indian. Movie-loving nerd. We'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs>